Good day to our research advisor, Dr. Dave Marshall, and to our panelists, Assistant Professor Joy D., Dr. Myra Villanueva, and Mom Sarah Ragay. I am Francesca Von Gali, and together with my groupmates, I'm Joanna Caris Concepcion, and I'm Jane Kate Marshall. A pleasant, a pleasant day. day. We will be presenting our study entitled User Engagement in Digital Library Platforms. For the chapter one of our study, here is Miss Joanna Charis Concepcion. Thank you for that, Miss Francesca. I'm Joanna Charis Concepcion for the introduction and chapter one of our study. When people need information, two things that come to mind are the internet and the library. The development and spread of the internet have resulted in digital libraries, as reported by Radia back in 2018. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, students were forced into online distance learning. In this context, digital libraries play a crucial role. The Delos Digital Library Reference Model, or the DLRM, has defined a digital library as an organization collecting, managing, and preserving rich digital content for the long term, providing specialized functionality on that content to its user communities of measurable quality and following codified policies, as stated by Candela back in 2007. The Silliman University Library has provided digital library platforms such as the SU Library Facebook page, the MySol Virtual Library, and the online database EBSCOhost. One method of examining engagement in a digital library is through logs. A transaction log is a file that records the communications between a system and its users. Log data can better understand how an application is used and better adapted to the goals that users were hoping to achieve. Though Industry 4.0 and digital technology develop new possibilities for libraries, there are some emerging challenges on the end of the user's end. Few studies, particularly in the local setting, have explored the engagement of libraries in using the digital library platforms mentioned above. Users also face a variety of issues when using a digital library. This study attempts to fill a gap in the literature on user engagement in digital libraries, specifically on various platforms. It's unclear whether all of the Silliman University Library's digital library platforms are being used or which need to be improved to increase user engagement. Hence, this study aims to determine user engagement and as well as examine the utilization details, engagement level, and degree of challenges of the Silliman University Library's digital platforms such as the MySol Virtual Library, the SU Library Facebook page, and the online database EBSCOhost. The researchers will identify the best practices and activities to improve the current digital library platforms. The study aims to answer the following specific research questions. What are the utilization details of the following digital platforms? MySol Virtual Library, SU Library Facebook page, and EBSCO Host. What is the engagement level of Z respondents in terms of the following digital platforms? MySol Virtual Library, SU Library Facebook page, and EBSCO Host. What is the degree of challenges encountered by the respondents in accessing the digital platforms? Korewanani? Oh, what is the relationship between engagement level and the following? Demographic profile, technological profile, and degree of challenges. Is there a significant difference in terms of engagement level with the following? Demographic profile. Technological profile, degree of challenges, woo! Null hypothesis. 1. There is no significant relationship between engagement level with the demographic profile of the respondents, the technological profile of the respondents, and the degree of challenges. 2. There is no significant difference in terms of engagement level with the demographic profile of the respondents, the technological profile of the respondents, and the degree of challenges. This study is a significant endeavor to realize the importance of user engagement in the SU Digital Library platforms. 
administrators will benefit from the study in planning and implementing a strategic plan for the digital library platform's activities and resources to make them more engaging to library users. Administrator librarians will benefit from this study in creating a user-centered marketing plan for digital library platforms' activities and resources that library users find appealing. Faculties will benefit from this study in understanding user-centered and non-user-centered activities and resources in the digital library platforms, leading them to give feedback on what they need for teaching and learning. This will allow librarians to collaborate with the faculties. Librarians will benefit from this study in assisting the librarians in developing user-centered strategies and determining which resources and activities in the digital library platforms engage library users. The results of the study will be used as a guide for gathering data and determining the validity of other relevant findings. The study's findings will be used to assist the researchers in developing gamification of digital library orientation to increase user engagement of SU digital library platforms. The Scope and Limitations The Mass All Virtual Library, the SU Library Facebook page, and EBSCO Host will be studied. The study will run for nine months beginning in March 2022 and ending in December 2022. This study will be completed online due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Logs of users will also be collected from the digital library platforms. Some definition of terms. Degree of challenges. According to Reverso 2014, a degree of challenges refers to a high level of expertise on a relative amount or intensity scale. In this study, the degree of challenges refers to the challenges and issues the library users encountered in accessing the SU Digital Library platforms. Digital Library According to Science Direct 2022, digital libraries are websites dedicated to creating and maintaining electronic book collections and other types of content that do not need end users to purchase the items they want to peruse and read. In this study, Digital Library refers to the SU Digital Library platforms, namely MySoul Virtual Library, SU Library Facebook page, and online database EBSCO Host. EBSCO stands for Elton Bryson Stephens Company. It is a major provider of the library technology, ebooks, and clinical decision solutions for universities, colleges, hospitals, enterprises, government, K 12 schools, and public libraries worldwide. In the study, EBSCO Host originates from EBSCO, an online database and digital library platform where researchers conduct their research for information and data. The engagement level with a software application or platform indicates how active users interact with it and how active users are on the internet. In the study, engagement level refers to the engagement level of the respondents in terms of the SU digital library platforms. In this study, MySoul Virtual Library refers to the virtual library of Silliman University in MySoul to cater to the information information and research needs of the students. The Silliman University Library Facebook page aspires to provide up-to-date materials in a variety of formats and facilities and equipment, supporting the university's quest for excellence in all of its academic, research, and extension programs. For the chapter 2 of our study, here is Ms. Francesca Von Galli. Thank you, Ms. Concepcion. The literature review focused on the themes relevant to the study's focus on user engagement and digital library platforms. There has been limited study on digital library and user engagement across many digital library platforms. Digital libraries encourage participation by encouraging library users to participate and contribute to resource comprehension so that everyone benefits at the end. This is a clear sign that academic libraries must adopt digital library platforms to meet the information needs of the academic community and to increase engagement. User engagement in digital library platforms has been emphasized and threatened by the pandemic, which brought in a revolution in online education and a chance for academic librarians to think about how they could digitally provide services. In this study, log analysis will be used to measure user engagement. Log analysis of the digital library is done by analyzing the access log statistics of the library user community to evaluate the digital library and the user community. In this study, we will determine the user engagement of MySoul Virtual Library. Learning management systems impact engagement. Thus, 
academic institutions must stay current with trends and available technologies to help students and academic staff. In this study, we will determine the user engagement in the Facebook page of Silliman University Library. Existing literature on social media use in libraries has looked at a variety of topics, including content, stakeholder perceptions, and practical use strategies. There is relatively little research done to compare libraries' usage of numerous digital library platforms in depth. In this study, we will determine user engagement in EBSCOhost. The online database EBSCOhost allows users to explore the intersections of technology, its use, and its applications through an interdisciplinary approach. EBSCOhost provides institutions with readily available information from internal and external resources through a single search. In this study, we will determine the degree of challenges faced by users in utilizing the various digital library platforms. It is significant to emphasize that numerous studies have addressed concerns about information privacy, information security, and copyrights. In this study, our project will be the gamification of digital library orientation. Gamification, a technique that incorporates components of game design, is one way to increase user engagement. There is a little reference to other libraries' user populations, such as faculties, staff, and community users that require library orientation. Let us proceed to the theoretical frameworks of the study. The engagement level is anchored in the theoretical framework adopted from O'Brien and Masrek and Samadhi. Endurability, perceived usefulness, felt engagement, focus attention, aesthetics, and novelty are the six constructs to measure engagement. The theoretical framework for the issues and challenges is adopted from the Digital Library Service Quality Assessment Model, which aims to evaluate the service quality of digital libraries. The theoretical framework for the gamification of digital library orientation is adapted from the game mechanics and dynamics. Let me discuss the conceptual framework of our study. Based on the research objectives, the study first aims to examine the digital library platforms offered by the Silliman University Library. The study also examines the user profile of the respondents, including the demographic profile and the technological profile. Logs will be collected from the digital library platforms. The significant relationship and differences between the utilization of digital library platforms and the degree of challenges will be examined. To determine user engagement in the digital library platforms, the utilization details, engagement level, and degree of challenges will be examined. The results of the study are taken to increase user engagement through gamification of one of the library services, which is library orientation. The library's interactive orientation adventure game requires users to choose one of the digital library platforms. For the chapter 3 of our study, here is Miss Jane Del Kate Mirasol. The research design. The research is descriptive correlational study. Descriptive is to analyze and interpret the engagement level of the Sulman University digital library platforms, while correlational is to investigate the relationship and significant differences between demographic profile, technological profile, and degree of challenges using two methods, the lab analysis and an online survey. The environment. The study will be conducted at Solomon University. It will be conducted online due to COVID-19 pandemic and the lab analysis will be conducted on the digital library platform. Datasets. There are three datasets used to be analyzed in the study. First is the MISO Virtual Library. Second is Solomon University Library Facebook page. 
and lastly, the Ebb's Co-host Database. The instrument. The instrument of the study is a survey questionnaire that have five parts. First is the letter correspondence. Second is demographic profile. Third is technological profile. Fourth is engagement level with the digital platforms. And the last part is the issues and challenges in accessing the digital library platforms. Sampling method. The researchers will use two methods. First is convenient sampling and second is the uncontrolled profile sampling. The validity and reliability of the questionnaire. For the user engagement scale which is adapted from Obrin and others 2018 study, found that the questionnaire had excellent reliability and validity. The user engagement scale short form was validated with novel social book search project data. The validity and reliability of the service quality features for issues and challenges questionnaire have yet to be determined. Test retest approach and internal consistency method are to be used. Respondents. The study will have 80 respondents and will be collected from 20 academic units of Silman University. Next, we have the administration for the conduct of the log analysis. First step is that the researcher will send a formal letter to the LMS web administrator of MISO and the digital librarian of Silman University to schedule an interview and request the data needed in the study. The next step is to formally request the administrators to generate and collect the user engagement data based on the research objectives. The statistical tools. Frequency count and simple percentage will be used to track the answers to the first, second, and third research questions. The Likert scale will be used to solve the third and fourth research questions to describe a degree to which respondents will respond to the online survey questionnaire. Persons correlation coefficient formula will be used to determine the relationship between the engagement level of the respondents, while chi-square goodness of fit test will be used to determine the significant difference between the engagement level of the respondents. Ethical considerations. In general, during lab analysis and during online survey, the following aspects are observed. The voluntary participation, informed consent, anonymity, privacy, and confidentiality. Note that during the lab analysis, the confidentiality and anonymity of the users is already observed, meaning the researchers don't have access to any personal information of the users. There is no personal information of the users of Silman University Digital Library platforms. Thank you for listening to our virtual presentation of our research entitled User Engagement in Library Digital Platforms. And the room is now open for questions, suggestions, reactions, violent reactions, and recommendations. That would be all. Thank you.